storm. So folks traveling for the holiday weekend, they're still feeling the impact of last week's once in a generation storm. While flight delays and cancellations are still increasing, there's a potential new problem for travelers. Charles Watson has more from Atlanta. The busy holiday weekend likely feels even busier if you are one of the millions of Americans flying home post Christmas. Cancel, delay, delay, cancel, cancel, cancel. The massive winter storm that swept across the U.S. ahead of Christmas to blame for the widespread travel troubles. And many flights still aren't cleared for takeoff Monday, with more than a thousand delayed and at least a thousand more canceled and even more expected. Just waiting, hoping for the best. Long lines formed in jam-packed terminals as people tried to rebook, but making alternative flight arrangements during one of the busiest post-pandemic travel periods has been difficult. Because airlines were already fully booked due to the holiday season and the volume of passengers trying to reschedule. Southwest website crashed, the ticket agents, their system crashed while we were at the airport, and then we couldn't get any reception at the actual airport. It was just complete chaos. And if long delays and axed flights are not frustrating enough, some passengers are now dealing with lost luggage. Our stuff is somewhere in this mess. Hundreds of bags that need to be returned stacked up in baggage claims over the weekend, which may only get worse with more flights arriving throughout the day. They did a terrible job at figuring out where people's bags that were canceled are going. Some good news, flight tracking site FlightAware is showing delays and cancellations tapering off in the coming days. At Atlanta's Hartsville-Jackson International Airport, Charles Watson, Fox 32 Chicago.